Hey, what's up, guys? It's Phone Tech over here with another video, and in this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 8 to an iPhone 10. And the point, guys, of this video is that iPhone 10 may be actually slower with more pixels to push and the same processor. And I want to see how the RAM performs since I heard some issues about the iPhone 10's RAM management. So stay tuned. All right, guys, to start off, I'm going to boot up both iPhones. They should actually be the same. Apple logo appeared first, first on the iPhone 8, but I mean, when it comes to booting up, these two devices should be the best in the market at the moment, since iPhones are really fast in booting up. It looks like maybe the iPhone 10 would be faster. Actually, no. iPhone 8 was faster there. Alright guys, so first up here, I'm gonna go for a Geekbench. As you can see, uh, Speaking about specs, um, both have Apple A11 Bionic chip, clocked at 2.39 gigahertz. Um, iPhone uh, 8 has 1.95 gigs, so about two gigs there, where basically two, yeah, memory has two, no, iPhone 10 is 2.72, as you can see, so it's uh, 300 megabytes less than three gigs, so um, yeah, they didn't really add, put the entire three gigs inside. So let's see, it's going for CPU test. All right, so uh, the scores are about the same. Uh, iPhone 10 has a better multi-core score, whereas the iPhone 8 has a better single-core score. Uh, so basically, it's about the same as we're gonna expect. I mean, both uh, have the same specs, so it shouldn't be an issue. All right, guys, so now everything is close in the background, both, and let's go. First up, mail on both. I think it's exactly the same. And uh, the screen on the iPhone 10 looks a bit different because it's all that. And I made sure that uh, yeah, it's gonna be, yeah. So I made sure that both have true tone off for this video. So yeah, next up calendar, exactly the same. And I'm not expecting it to be faster on the iPhone 10 or 8. I mean, uh, with the system-based apps, I'm just gonna go through them fast. Both are blazing fast, even leaving is almost the same. Camera and taking a picture uh, should be the same. And uh, let's go for maps. Maybe iPhone 10 was slightly faster. Notes. Maybe iPhone 8. Home kit. Let's redo that. Home kit. Maybe the same. Um, okay, so guys, I won't really waste that much time. I'm just gonna go for games now because these are stuff where you expect them to be to differ. So uh, first up, Temper Run 2. Yeah, bigger screen, more pixels to push, but the same processor. So let's see if that does any impact on the performance there. No, actually, it looks identical. I mean, same exact speed, which is good. So it's good to see that even with the more pixels, iPhone 10 is performing well. I mean, the same. It should perform well, basically. So this game is not optimized for iPhone 10. So basically, it should be it should be as fast. But it had an ad here, taking into consideration. Whoa! But it's actually faster. Weird. All right. So next up, uh, gonna run Space Frontier here. And again, this game is not optimized for iPhone 10. As you can see, it's still has the black bar parts at the top and the bottom, so it's almost, it should be about the same. And next up, I'm going for Uber and both. Identical. And next up, I'm going for Snapchat. Yeah. I think the iPhone 8 was faster. All right, so uh, next up, Pokemon Go, and again, now this game is not optimized as well, so we'll talk about that. And it should be really fast in both. I mean, in comparison to other older, yeah, okay, devices, it was faster than the iPhone 10 actually. But because iPhone 10 in this case wasn't pushing that much pixels, because it was uh, sort of like let's say four, made for 4.7 inch devices now with the back bars. Games here, I missed so. Uh, Go for 
this one here and this one's optimized it's one of the few games that are actually optimized for the iphone 10 landscape screen and landscape mode basically that's about the same that's good to see leaving apps and landscape is kind of disturbing the iphone 10 because uh sometimes actually this part disappears and you just yeah but now it's easy all right so uh, next up mario run on both and this one is optimized as well full screen uh, i think it's about the same maybe iphone 10 is slightly faster yeah but again that won't matter but it's good to see that even with the more pixels iPhone, with more pixels iphone 10 is doing well let's go for safari and uh yeah maybe iphone 10 was faster i mean with loading the page so let's go for watch on both and um, i this time iphone 8 was faster next up phone dialer on both identical so yeah guys that was it let's go for ram management now on both let's go for uh, mail actually i won't go for mail because that's easy so let's go for weather iphone 8 had to refresh whereas iphone 10 kept it in the background so uh, next up temper on two and both and uh looks good for both so uh, now let's go for maps on both and boom iphone 8 had to refresh as well so uh, let's go for uh, pokemon go was well, actually perfect in both and let's go for this game here camelgan okay same and uh next up i'm going for mario run and yeah Okay, so iPhone 8 is really good, but it had to refresh some apps. So with the 3 gigs here on the iPhone 10, you get more apps in the background. So it's kind of better there. And now I'm going to go for an Antutu benchmark test. Let's see which one's better. And uh, let's test it here. Of course, guys, as usual, I'm just going to speed this up. All right, guys, as you can see, so these are the scores on both. And um, of course, uh, everything was closed. So uh, nothing was in the background while running the test. So let's see the details. Let's see the details here on both. And uh, OK, uh, so guys, I noticed that the iPhone 10 is outperforming all other devices when it comes to 3D. I mean, uh, probably from the bigger screen. Uh, so uh, big difference there, 20,000. When it comes to the UX, even the iPhone 10 is better. CPU, wow. CPU iPhone actually iPhone 8 performed better than the iPhone 10 way better to be honest wow when it comes to RAM even like iPhone 10 got a lower score I mean for for a second here I thought that's the iPhone 8 so RAM on the iPhone 10 performed worse than the iPhone 8 for some reason there that's weird let's just go for the CPU details and yeah so as you can see multi core score on the iPhone 10 is lower everything is lower for some reason that's weird that's really weird <laughs> on iphone 10 for some reason even though in the uh, overall score is higher but iphone 8 did better when it comes to cpu power management ram all right then. so there is it guys all right guys there you have it that was a comparison between iphone 8 and iphone 10 i was really disappointed to be honest with iphone 10's uh, result and until the benchmark i mean uh, it really didn't do well when it comes to gram I mean, I, iPhone 8 outperformed the RAM and the CPU, so iPhone 8 was actually fat, uh, better in scores, but 
when, when we were testing them, they were about the same, they were exactly the same, even iPhone 10 was faster sometimes, so uh, yeah, I don't know why, uh, I mean, score-wise. Score All right, guys, hope you liked the video, subscribe for more content, and peace out.